Hello and welcome to Kingslayer. It's the season two finale, Orcs versus Blood Angels. Who's gonna win? Watch the episode and find out. To keep up to date with everything at Knights at the Game Table, all you have to do is click subscribe and then hit that tiny little notification button next to it so every time we upload a new video, YouTube will be sure to let you know. End of the year, end of the season, and the season finale championship is down to myself with the Orcs and Mike from Grimdark Games with his Blood Angels. We'll get to that in just a moment, but while you're watching, don't forget that we are still giving away a star collecting box of your choice every month. To be entered into the draw, just share this video and then comment down below to let us know you have. You could pick a 40k army like Orcs or an Age of Sigmar army like Orcs. You could also be like our recent winner, Riley Palmer, who took home a box of malignants. While you're taking care of that, I'm gonna go get my Orc on. Hey, I'm Mike, back on the channel from Grimdark Games. I am bringing my list of uh, two captains with jump packs, thunder hammers and shields, uh, scout squad, two intercessors, two sanguinary guards, a uh, sanguinary ancient, and a roar one Scorpius, and that is my list. We is back and we is out for blood, looking to avenge our loss earlier on the season. Two Mike in this, the season finale. We has got three detachments, two battalions and a vanguard. The first battalion is Evil Sons. They is red and red ones goes faster. We has got the war boss on the war bike. We have got a weird boy. We have got two lots of 10 grots and we has got 30 boys. Uh, boss Knob's got a combi scorcher and a power claw, and there are three tank buster bombs on three of the lads. Moving on, we has got the Bad Moons uh, Battalion for some shooting action, three lots of grots for screening, then we has got 15 looters, our HQs for that detachment are a second weird boy, and then we've got the big mech with the custom force field and a rocket launcher. Finally, the Vanguard is the Lucky Blue gets those Death Skulls. We has got three lots of commandos with power claws and a pair of rockets, plus the big mech with a shock attack gun. Bring it. For the season finale of King Slayer, we is playing King Slayer. Each player adds up the power rating of any enemy units that were destroyed during the battle, doubling their total score at the end of the battle if one of the models slain was the enemy warlord. At the end of the fifth battle round, the player with the highest total wins the battle, even if their own army has been wiped out. Somewhat predictably, Mr. Mike finished deploying his uh, rather smaller force first, so he is plus one on the roll for the first turn. Oh, I got a two. Well, so that you're... beats my one. Let's see if I can seize the initiative on a six, though. I can! Unbelievable. Come on, Corn Emperor. All right, let's have a cheeky redeploy of 1d3 units for my cunning but brutal Warlord. That is two units plus my Warlord I can move if I want to. That'll do it for my redeploy onto the movement. All right, the war boss on the war bike is on a mission. He has gone charging down the left-hand side of the field, looking to set up some uh, turn one. Bit of a turn one kicking. Um, over here, the big mech with a shock attack gun has come around for a cheeky shot right at the top of the Scorpius. Um, it may be devastating, it may be awful. Um, the weird boy here is just in range to buff up that uh, big mech, uh, bit, uh, war boss on the war bike. Um, over on this side of the board, um, the weird boy has moved close to the boys. He's looking to jump them. Um, he's going to try and put warp off on him before he does that. And then over here, we've got a big bunch of looters uh, looking to shoot at whatever they can shoot, um, which is mostly these here, possibly Clipper Sangrony Guard in there. And the uh, big mech with his rocket launcher will put a rocket into uh, either a random sanguinary guard or one of them. First of all, this weird boy over here is going to put the Fists of Gork onto that war boss on a war bike. He needs a six. And he has got it. 
Uh, next, um, this weird boy is going to tend to put um, Warpath onto those boys over there. Needs a seven. He is going to be uh, plus two on the check. Right. And that is a fail. Um, finally, he's going to try and manifest a jump. Uh, it's also going to need a seven, also a plus two on the check. That is good on a ten. We is jumping. Can you confirm these are the correct hyper ten use from these ones here? You're okay, nine inches. And this is the man what knows what nine inches is. <laughs> All right, first thing we is going to do is we is going to try and put some uh, slugger shots from the jump boys into these scouts up here. Oh, uh, the intercessor guys? Yep. So we is hitting uh, on fives here. And uh, four dagger, dagger, dagger triggers. Oh, three of which hit. Brutal. All right, then. All right, ten shots, strength four, T4, wounding on a four. That is three saves for you, sir. Three saves, all right. I'm in, up on the cover with the rafters, so I'm at two up. Two guys. So two wounds, so one guy is dead. Um, Looters is going to fire on the intercessors. Pay two command points for more dagger, so dagger, 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 trigger on a five. Dead. D3 shots is two per. 30 shots hitting on fives. Um, and then dagger, dagger, dagger shots. We roll this here one. All right, 12 connections with strength seven. So wounding me on threes. One, two, three, four, five, six saves at minus one. Six saves at minus one, so I'm back up to a three. One, two. Two damage per. Finally for shooting, we've got this cheeky big mech with a shock attack gun that's going to take a pot shot at the old, uh, what's that Scorpius? Scorpius. Pot shot at the old Scorpius. So, um, first of all, we're going to roll for the weapon strength, 2d6. Today is a strength three weapon. <laughs> Not I'll very exciting. Uh, d6 shots, two the shots. One. D6, right. oh no, d6 shots. D6 shots. So two right. shots, all right. Getting on fives. Um, with the lucky blue gets, well, we've got one of them. No, that is a complete failure for the shock attack gun. Um, so, uh, this lot of boys is going to charge the sanguinary guard. All right. They need a nine. Um, they is uh, evil sons, so they is plus one on the uh, charge roll. So looking for an eight on the dice. That's a nine on the dice. All right. For a ten inch move. Well, give me my Overwatch. You are the devil, sir. <laughs> Strength four, so we need fours. Three at minus one. All right, that'd be th three dead boys. Good job. And then let's have this charge. Now, the war boss on the war bike is going to be charging both the intercessors and the sanguinary guard. Ooh, that's music to my ears. So, the guard, however, are tied up, but overwatch from the intercessors. One. And then I'll roll the grenade launcher. Nope. So one hit, strength four, your T5 on the bike. Five. So I got a save at minus one. 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 Right, so five up on him. He does not Just make one it. One damage. One so damage on him. Let's roll his charge. Eight, I think that um, will be enough. Eight seems good. He's an evil son, so he's moving nine. Kevin declared his orc boy charge, so I'm going to do a heroic adventure with my captain. Uh, let us now uh, fight with the war boss. He's going to pile on in. Um, so, because um, we have been buffed with the Fist of Gork, we is on six attacks, hitting on twos with the Relic Claw. Al, everything connects? Um, yep. I'm just wondering if I want to come on point the one that didn't. Yeah, why not? Let's just re-roll that one as well. You have enough command toys, two battalions. Yeah. All right, that's six hits. Um, he is strength... You wound me on twos? Strength yeah. 16, yeah, so, so he's, he's like, uh, wound definitely wounded on twos. Relic claw, re-rolls, failed wound rolls. Go figure. So well, five? we're at five. Um, this is a minus three, I believe, so you're so on a five up save now, because I'm a two up armor save. Three guys failed. All right, three damage per. Three damage per? All right. He's dead. He's dead. Three guys are dead. I'm We're just going to do the quit. nastiest consolidation in the history of time and do this. That works. Uh, I'm going to use two CP and interrupt. Sanguinary guard. Hit on threes, but the captain, so the reroll ones. And strength five, and he charged me, so plus one, so I just need twos to wound. Hey, Miles. 
11 at minus 3. All right, that's 11 dead boys. Um, so let's have the boys squad at the Sanguinary Guard. Boss Knob uh, down to three attacks now because we've lost green tide um, against the Sanguinary Guard. He's hitting on fours. They all miss. And now uh, the boys will also swing at the Sanguinary Guard. So we're three attacks each, two for the boys and one for the choppers. All right, that's 23 hits. He's going to be wounded on fours. Ten saves, no AP, so we're at a two-up save. Not a one. Fair enough. Captain time. So I'm going to uh, use the CP <laughs> for D3 extra attacks. Five attacks on the profile. You charge me with Black Rage and one extra. All right. Hits on twos normally, but he has a Thunder Hammer, so I'm hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. Twos do nothing. Five hits. And then wounding on twos. Four at minus three. Four more sets, four more dead boys. Um, so uh, I'm going to spend three CP for um, get stuck in, lads. And the war boss is going to lay into the intercessors. All right. So we is uh, hitting on twos. Oh, my goodness, we've got three misses. That's not what we were looking for. I'll take that. Uh, wounding on twos, you're rolling fails. That's three saves at minus three on the intercessors. Minus three. So six ups. Not a one. All right, three damage per. So three guys dead. A sergeant. One hits. I need a five to do anything. A six. One with no AP. Uh, on the war boss. Yes, on the war boss. He's looking for four. He's safe. And then the sergeant. Power sword. Three hits. I need fives to do anything. Nothing. And then I'll use my three CP. Attack again with my Sanguinary Guard into the boys. Threes, re-rolling ones. And everything else is a hit. Everything hits. And then just needing twos to wound. 16. At minus. Minus three. Can't save those, so the boy squad is finished. Three inch consolidation. That is the end of a brutal turn one with massive casualties on both sides. Um, does we have any morale for you? Three singer in a guard, so they'll still take it. So nine, lost three, one, they'll be okay. I lost three of them with the eight, three, seven, we're okay. Uh, everything passed morale, that's the end of my turn, over to Mike. I, I moved my captain from here, from fighting the orc boys, on the other side to back up my intercessors to go against the war boss on the bike. Move my sanguinary guard over the hill, try to get between uh, the grocks and my tanks, and then move my intercessors up a little bit and try to like stop the grot horde. Shoot the, the grots on the bottom of the hill, and then I'll shoot the grenade launcher. All right, three's the hit, one hit. And strength four, so I need a two, two. to win a grot. One at minus one. It's dead green got. One green got gone. Uh, grenade launcher, two shots. Strength three, so I hit on threes. Two hits, strength three, so I win on threes. One. One, a no, no AP. Can save on a six. Grot down. They advance, they cannot shoot. Or they're assault, so minus one. Ten shots, hitting on fours because I advance. Five, so instead of threes, I'm hitting on fours. I advance. Into the Gretchen in front of us. Five hits. Strength four, we're wounded on twos. Four at minus one, uh, that'd be four dead grots. Two intercessors with bolt pistols are going to shoot into the war boss. Threes to hit. Two hits, it's just strength four, so I need fives. One, no AP. Uh, looking for four. No, that's a wound, down to five. And that's it for shooting. I'm now gonna charge my Blood Angel Captain into the war boss. All right. Nine inches, I really didn't need that, but, and I charge with Black Rage. All right, let's go and hit that war boss. Hit it on threes, we're rolling ones. Everything hits except this one, it's still a one. Strength eight. And I charge, so I have a plus one to wound, so I wound you on twos. Five at minus three. 
three damage. Uh, minus three, can't save, because it's a four up safe. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen damage. All right, that is going to kill him, but I'm going to spend two command points for Orcs is never beaten. Orcs is never beaten. Orcs is never beaten. He is going to smack you back again. before he goes. Yeah. All right, so hitting on twos. All hitting, wounding on twos with his strength 16 monster. All wounding. That is six at minus three. I have a three up invuln, so I need three ups. Two fail. How many damage? Six damage total. Six damage, so let's go. Feel the pain. He has one wound left. Poor. Uh, it's morale. Green grots over here. All right, that's a three, so one is going to run away. And uh, over here, red, uh, ready black squad, um, leadership four, four have died, three are going to run. Uh, that is the end of my first turn, and now it is back over to Mr. Kevin. In my movement phase, my grots have generally uh, expanded the surface area they're covering to provide good coverage against incoming deep strikes next turn. Um, the Weird Boys have both moved into smite range of that Sanguinary Guard Squad over there. This one's staying close enough to, uh, to jump here as well. He's got two manifestations, she's the Warped. Um, over here, um, our big mech with the shock attack gun is again lining up on the old Scorpius. The looters have shuffled to the left of this platform for better line of sight on the old uh, Sanguinary Guard. The um, big mech with the custom force field. I shuffled to the front of that platform to be in range of those two uh, remaining intercessors up there. And we have deep struck in our commandos. Two units are coming here to put their rockets closest to that uh, captain on one wound. And uh, with the uh, knobs with the claws in range of the sanguinary guard, should want to charge them. The other lot have come in here in front of the guard um, to provide a bit more screening around the front and potentially go for a charge, depending on how the rest of the phase goes. On to psychic power time. And the first thing we is going to do is uh, we is going to manifest a smite from this one here into those uh, into those sanguinary guards. So uh, two d six. That's a seven. We are smiting away. Um, D3 mauls is two, two. more wounds. All right. One wound. Um, we will uh, put another smite into that sanguinary guard. This one here has got plus one on the char on the uh, warp charge. Um, that is only a four. Not and we will let it stand. Yeah. That's all right. Um, he could jump, but I've got um, enough line of sight to that sanguinary guard that I'm not too worried about it. So we'll move on to shooting. And the first thing we're going to do is we is going to fire... Actually, these two can't. We'll put two rockets and a slugger into the captain, and we'll put two sluggers into the sanguinary guard. Yeah. All, right. all right, so first squad. Um, first of all, let's shoot the sanguinary guard with the sluggers. Ooh. Um, we, we both did it. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Um, all right. Um, wounding sanguinary guard on fours. All right, that's two saves on the sanguinary guard. Two saves, two up. Two saves. Let's put the rockets into the captain. Captain. Oh my goodness, a pair of sixes, two dagger rolls. Um, we'll have our lucky blue gits roll here as well for a, that's three, three hits. hits on the captain. Uh, strength eight, so we're wounded on twos. We'll have our lucky blue gits re-roll on there as well. Look at that, oh, it's still only two. All right, two saves at minus two on the captain. So three up in Vaughn, two saves. Well, that's good, and the slugger on the captain, it's, does not wound. All right, uh, second squad. Um, this time we'll put, um, I think they're positioned to put three sluggers in the captain, uh, two rockets in the captain as well. So rockets first in the captain. Uh, we'll have a lucky blue get reroll on the other rocket. Two hits, wound in on twos, both wound, two more saves. Two saves. And then we'll have the sluggers. There are two hits so far. Did, I've had my lucky blue get roll on in it. No, no, no. So we'll have a lucky blue get roll. <clears throat> well, that's dagger, dagger, dagger. All right, that's three. He's a wound on fours. Three more saves on the captain. Three more. Let's put the looters into those sanguinary guard over there. D3 right. shots per. Two shots per. Eight. No more dagger this time. So only six is triggering extra attacks. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Roll on the one. Like this. All right then, um, so these are all wounded on threes. Ten saves at minus one. Ten. 
one. Just the one? Brutal. All right, two damage. Yeah, one guy has one wound, so one guy is dead. Um, all right, this uh, <laughs> bad moon big mech is going to fire his rocket launcher into the sanguinary guard as well. All right. Um, oh, dagger, 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 dagger. That's a one. Reroll is a bad moon. That's one it. Uh, wound in on a two. Does wound. All right. A, B, minus two. two. So two becomes four. He fails. Three damage. Three damage. Passes one, fails two. So Another one down. Another down. All right, um, let's put two rockets and uh, three sluggers into the sanguinary guard. All right. Resolve the rockets first. Lucky blue git and dagger, dagger, dagger. Just the one. Um, the wound. wound on a two. Minus two, so it's four, four up. Nope. Nope, three, three damage. damage. Nope, he didn't pass any, so he is uh, dead. All right, and now let's put sluggers into the rest. That's one it. Uh, dagger, 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 dagger. Another For two hit. hits. Two. Um, fours. We've still got a lucky blue get wound roll. Is for one, one wound, 80 zero. Zero, so two up. We're okay. Two up is good. <laughs> uh, and let's put this uh, shock attack gun into the Scorpius again. Let's see how we do today. All right. Strength of this gun is eight. Decent. So Number of shots three. today is three. We'll take it. Hitting on fives. Um, we is a lucky blue git, so we'll reroll that one. Just the one hit. Wound on a three. Let's try again. Wound on a three. Uh, lucky blue git, so we'll reroll the wound roll. Oh, nothing, nothing. again. Woo. Time for some charging, lady. perhaps. On my secondary guard up there? Yeah, front unit into the secondary right. guard. No sixes. 12. That'd be a 12, all right That'll then. That'll be there. And then let's charge uh, the unit of uh, unit of command commandos closest to the captain. All I have is a grenade at six inches, so I can't even overwatch you. All right, let's see how he does with this one. Uh, we're going to reroll both of those, but there we go. Yeah, I Not what up. we was looking for. All right, the second unit will try its 11 inch charge on the captain, given he can't do anything to him. Oof. Uh, let's re-roll the four, see if we can get a six. No, all right, fair enough then. No, here we go, mate. That was a little bit chancy. All right then, um, let's get these Death Skulls stuck into those Sanguinary Guard two left. Um, first of all, we'll do the Boss Knob. We um, can do he it. He has got three attacks, in on fours. He's lucky blue git, he's going to re-roll one of them. They all miss, that is not what we was after. Um, then we got some choppers, um, in on threes. Hang on. That's not enough. There we go, that's more like it. Um, so nine hits, wound in on a four. You got one, two, three saves to make. One fell. That's a wound on one of them. My oh, you got fight back, sorry, yeah, fight back on the sanguinary guard. You know, threes. Uh, I'm too far from the captain to reroll one, so threes to hit. Wound in on twos. One, two, three, four, five. Oof. That is so brutal. I guess it would be. All four of your boys, and then your knob, I can roll the D3 damage yeah. on. Yeah, roll damage for the knob. Three damage. That's done him. Oh. Commando lads. Uh, nine, and I'm, I lost three. So two plus three is five. We're all good. All right, it's over to him. In my movement phase, I move my last two intercessors up towards his commandos to try to take out some casualties. And the same thing with my captain. I moved him up from here, so I either have a choice to go for his commandos or... Weird big boy mech, with a big, big mech with a shock attack. So I have options to take out his flank over there. I dropped in my uh, captain from reserves to try to use a command point, two command points to do a 3d6 charge with his weird boy or grots. And same thing with my sanguinary guard. I drop them behind cover. So if I don't want to do anything with them, they'll be behind line of sight so they cannot be shot. Move my scouts up to try to tie up the grots and uh, whittle them down so he uh, has less choices of bodies for his uh, bodyguard role and left my Scorpius alone so it can shoot twice. So let's do some shooting. Yes. So let's target the green squad with the, the scouts. Uh, five bolt, bolt pistol shots into the green squad. Threes to hit. Two hits. Strength four, so we wound on twos. One, no AP. Uh, looking for six. No, dead green girl. Intercessor up top is going to shoot into the same squad. One hit, strength four, 
One at minus one. Uh, it's not a green got dead. Uh, grenade launcher guy, D6 shots. Three. Hits on threes, wound on threes. Two hits, strength three, no AP. One at no AP. Looking for six. No. Green got dead. Uh, the two sanguinary guard are going to shoot at the the grots that only have three guys left. One misses. Strength four, so we need two to hit. Two at minus one. Oh, that's uh, the two grots dead. Two of the grots dead. The commandos are going to be closer, so he'll throw a crack grenade at those guys. Two to hit. Three. Strength six, so wounds on a three. One at minus two. Or minus one, sorry. This is a crack grenade, not a missile. Ah, uh, so that is, I uh, can't save it, so we're gonna lose one of the commandos. They're gonna shoot at the same commando that just took that casualty. They're bolters. Three's to hit. No hits. First volley from the side to side move is gonna shoot that one poor grot. All right. And then the second volley is gonna shoot at the one that I took casualties on. All right then. So uh, 3d3 shots for the, the one grot. So hitting on threes. One misses, 666. Six, six. Strength six, so wounded on twos. Two, minus two. Minus two. Ah, oh, so this grot is very dead. He's, <laughs> he's right. at it. And then 3D3 shots on the one that took one casualty. All right. Hit it on threes. Miss, miss, miss. Two hits. Strength six, so I win on threes. Two at minus two. Ah, uh, student commandos in that squad. Uh, I'm going to charge him into the squad that's taking the casualties. All right, then. He's not the warlord, so you can overwatch him. Uh, all right, then. Uh, just two sluggers. Um, could be fatal, though. Oh, that is a six. Dagger, dagger, dagger. dagger. Just oh. the one. Wounding on a four. Does wound. Saves. Ooh. <laughs> Seven inches. And then they're going to charge both squads. All right then, um, let's overwatch them then. Uh, first of all, let's see if we can hit with any uh, rockets. Dang, dagger, um, dagger, dagger. Dagger, dagger, dagger. No. One. Um, uh, so that's going to wound on a two. One. Does wound. Minus two. Minus two. So three becomes five. Yeah. One guy. Three, three damage. damage. Three damage. So one guy's just dead. All right, then we've got the three sluggers. One dagger, dagger, dagger. No, wounded on the four. All What's right, that? three up. Three up. We're okay. Five up. Charging. Yep. Ten inches. He's definitely in. Saying in regard, they're gonna charge the weird boy. All right. That's in. Scouts are gonna charge the green grot and the tan grot. All right. That is one it. Uh, Grot Blaster will wound on a five. No. All right, come on, scouts. Six inches. That will, should get me in there plenty. I'm going to use two CP. Give me put down to one. And charge 3d6 for my uh, Warlord Captain into your weird boy. All right. 10, 15 inches. Captain is going to go into those uh, two yep, left. Two left. Hammer, so he hits on instead of threes, instead of twos. So all five hit, and strength eight, I charge, so wounded on twos. Three, minus three. Three minus three, um, can't save him, damage per? Three damage each. Right, uh, so that squad is gone. Uh, the Space Marine uh, Sergeant. Yep. Three, hits on threes. All three hit. Strength four, your toughness four, so I need fours. One at minus three. Uh, can't save, so I will lose uh, one of these chopper boys here. All right, secondary guard are gonna go into that weird boy. Hit it on threes, no rerolls, because no one's by him. Strike five, so we need two. Five at minus three. Can't save. Damage per? D3. Okay. 10. That is gonna kill him. Captain onto that weird boy. Threes, because I hit on twos, but I have a thunder hammer, so I'm hitting on threes. Let me roll that. Strength eight, I charge, so I have plus one to wound, so twos. Five. Yep, that is gonna destroy him. Scouts into the green squad, so hitting on threes. 
They're more than six inches from the captain, so they have near re rolls. So we're looking for threes. Strength four. So we're winning on twos without the plus one. But no AP, so we just need twos. Six, no AP. All right, um, six hits. That is two, four down. All right, uh, my attack's back. All right, let's pile in over here. Okay, I'll put all the boys on the captain. I'll put the knob on the uh, sergeant. Okay. Uh, so let's do boys on the captain first. Tax. Dang. Wow, that's awful. Uh, let's take a lucky blue get roll. That's still awful. <laughs> Only three. All right then. Um, that is going to wound on fours. Oh, lucky blue get roll. One. You got one save on the captain. Three up. Six up. Yeah. All right then. And let's do the boss knob. Fours. Uh, see if we can Anything wound. Uh, yep. Two saves at minus three on the sergeant. So minus three, six up. One fail, two fail. So how much damage? D3, uh, D3 right? each, so he's... So even if you roll a one, he's still dead. Yeah, he takes three. All right, five grots in the scouts. In on fives. Ooh. Three. Uh, wounding oh, on sixes. Are anybody your goths? What? Are anybody goths? No. Okay. Also, grots don't get culture. Uh, wound on sixes, no wounds. Okay, right. goths. Um, and then we've got uh, five on that captain over there. Also in on fives. So two hits, oh. wound on sixes. Nope, nothing there. All right, that's the end of bottom of two. So top of three goes to Mr. Kevin. Yeah. All right, these orange and yellow uh, grot squads have fallen back from combat. So these uh, scouts and this here uh, captain are no longer engaged. Um, over here, this other orange squad of grots have shuffled left a bit for uh, line of sight on the sanguinary guard. Um, the looters have shuffled to the left hand side of this platform. The uh, big mech with the custom force field has shuffled towards the front. The big mech with the shock attack gun has moved onto this bit of rockery here for a bit of line of sight. Oh, and the commandos have stayed in that fight over there. We are ready to go on to shooting. Uh, first of all, eight grots are going to fire into those uh, sanguinary guard. There's it on fours. There's wounded on fives. That's two saves on those sanguinary guard, Mike. Two saves? Yep. All right, two ups. Both saved. All right, let's put this here shock attack gun into this sanguinary guard. Yes, sir. So, uh, strength of the gun today is 10. Nah. Strength 10, and we have got two shots. I'll take that. I'm going to command point that two for two shots. shots. All right, but at least it's strength 10. All right, looking for fives. What's well, a five and a six? Dagger, dagger, dagger. Lucky blue git. All right, two. Oh, uh, he's wounded on twos. twos. We'll it's take our oh, lucky blue git's wound reroll. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, <laughs> that is a one minus five. So no save, so damage? Six. I'm OK with that. All right, let's put three looters into those intercessors and 12 into this captain. Sounds good. Uh, D3 shots. Oh, that's not good. All right, then. Let's go for the intercessors. For two hits. Uh, wound on threes. Two wounds that's on the intercessors and minus one. Two ones? Yep. So they're in cover, so minus one, they stay out of three up. Three up. Two saves. All right, and then let's put the rest into this captain here. Good amount of sixes. Uh, Reroll this one. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Dagger, 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 dagger. Wounded on threes. That is four saves. Minus one. So this will be my invul. One fail. All right, two damage on the captain. Two damage. Let's go from Phil pain. So one wound. Now he's down to four. I'm going to spend two command points for showing off. They're going to fire again. They're going to put everything into the captain this time. We got the corn emperor behind us. Dagger, dagger, dagger. These are going to wound on threes. E. That is four more saves. Four more saves. Three up. One. Failed. All right, then. Two damage, he said? Two damage. Takes them both. So he goes down to two. All right, let's put a rocket into him from the big mech and see if we can finish him off. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. As a four, it's exactly what we didn't want. 
Oh, that is pretty bad for me. Um, let us um, do charges. Let's charge these grots into the Sanguinary Guard and the Captain. The Sanguinary Guard, two shots. One hit, strength four, so two to wound. One at minus one. All right, it's one down. All right, how far can the little grots go? Then go seven inches. Any which way you want. All right, on to combat. Ah, uh, the grots will fight the captain. Uh, five can reach him. Ing on fives. That's two. Wounding on sixes. Nope, nothing. And then over here, um, we is going to put the commandos into that, uh, that captain over there. So, uh, boss knob first, ing on fours. Uh, lucky blue git. That two is two hits, wounding on twos. Lucky One. blue get. That's two saves minus three. Three up. <laughs> Passes on both. And then fours, two, two. saves. Two saves. Um, you to fight. My go. All right, him into the boy squad. Th threes to hit. Twos do nothing. And two's the wound because he charged me. No, wait, sorry. It's an ongoing combat, yeah. so three's the wound. Four. You kill four, all right. It's three damage each, Thunder Hammer. All right, uh, Scats can't do anything. Captain to the gray squad. Five hit. And wounded on twos. Four, minus three. All right, four dead grots. All right, that brings me to the end of my turn. Um, morale on the orange squad, lost four. Rolled a three, three more run away, two remaining. Well, that, that did not go as planned. I really uh, failed to kill any of the three things I tried to kill this turn, so I think I'm not looking too good here. Passing back over to Mike. Moving phase, I moved up my captain. That's pretty much almost dead. He only has one move left to try to take out this uh, mech with a shock attack gun. Brought my one sanguinary guard to back him up just in case he dies in Overwatch. You never know. I'm um, stuck in combat with the grouse with the captain, so I didn't stuck him, move him. I uh, moved my Sanger and her guard up over the fuel canister, and we're going to try to whittle down these grouse. And I left my scout so we can shoot, and uh, that's where we're at. And I hope to kill some grouse so I, in the charge phase I can get to those Ludas, and maybe that big mech sitting on the hill with a rocket. Okay, I'm going to throw a crack grenade into your shock mech. Choose the hit. Six. Strength six, so I just need a three. Four, minus one. It's a four up, so he needs a five. No. D3 damage? Three damage. Uh, puts him on one. Uh, and I've just remembered, all my Death Skulls units are supposed to have a six invulnerable that I've completely forgotten about and I always forget about. Uh, singular guard, his bolter, two shots. T4, so a four is the wound him. Nothing. Golden boys are going to shoot at the or orange squad. I am within six inches of my captain, so we roll ones. So hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. And strength four, so winning on twos. Eight, nine, ten, minus one. Uh, which squad? The yellow ones. All right, they're all gone. Uh, scouts, or the ancient with the banner, is going to shoot at the orange grots. Strength four. One at minus one on the orange. All right, one orange dead. Here's the bolt pistols, and that's going to be a frag grenade from the scouts into the orange bolt pistols. Everything hits. Right Strength then. four, so two's the wound. Three at no AP. All right, and for sixes. Yes. And then frag grenade. Two shots. So hitting on threes. One wound. One. One. No AP. Another dead orange. Let's go on to the looters. All right, come on, point for Grot Shield. Hit on threes. Ten hits. All right. Strength six. Uh, so so we force wound on threes. Eight passing on for the two up. Oh, one failure and seven dead Grots. Charging. Uh, Scouts into the mech. All right then, let's fire a rocket. Nope. Charging. Oh, you got an 11? Yes. Oh, that's brutal. Uh, he's stuck, he can't charge. Yeah. They're gonna declare him 
the Grox and the Ludas. All right, uh, Ludas get a fire then. Let's roll for shots. Let's come on, point that. Three, all right Much then. better. Let's roll the most sixes in the history of time ever. Corn, look upon me. Seven, uh, looking for threes. Well, I mean, seven did wound. Seven, so two up save, minus one, so now I'm a three up. All right. All right, charge range. Four inches, so I think we're gonna keep it to the grots. All right, and that senior in guard's just gonna charge him. All right then. Two. He sixes. That's one six. Dagger, dagger, dagger. That's just the one. Strength of the gun is six. So, so wound, four, wound so you on a three. Threes. And I've already rerolled this phase. All right, so he's going in on a eight inches. And the captain charging, 11 inches. Captain, hit it on threes because he has a hammer. And strength eight, and I charge, so a plus one to wound, so I need twos. Four at minus three. All right, that kills the big mech with a shock attack gun. I'm gonna go with my sanguinary guard on the Grox. So let's go pile in. All right, hitting on threes, the captain's there, so we're rolling ones. And then wounding on twos. All right, those grots are dead. And then the scouts on the poor little uh, mech. Yep. So hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. Normally, Blood Angels were the four, but I would charge, so I have a plus one, so I need threes. Six at no EP. Doing four ups. Uh, I only made two of those, so four wounds. Enough to kill him. Hit the Sanguinary Guard, I suppose. Threes. Wounding on fours. Five saves. Five saves. One, two, two, one, so that's the guy dead. Feel the pain. Thank you, sir. I no longer Two have on my body. <laughs> I don't have anything to attack twice. I only have one CP. So that is it for me. So things are not looking good. Things went disastrously wrong on my turn three. All I've got left is these looters. I'm going to have to be twice as lucky as the devil and roll about <laughs> 666 sixes. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go because it's a season finale. It's all to play for. So let's see just how lucky I can get. Um, all that is left to do is uh, pile in a fight because I've just got this one unit and they're engaged. So these are going to shuffle in here. These are going to opt down here and here. So we've got 20 attacks on the Sangare Guard. Ing on two, uh, threes. All right, looks to be 14, um, wounding on fours. It's not what I was looking for. Uh, Mike has six saves to make. All right, six two-up saves, right? No AP? Yeah, that's the one. So two-ups. One guy takes a wound. Let's see if he passes his field of pain. Sadly, he does. All right, you'll swing back, Mike. All right. Let's pile in some. All right, and the captain's right behind them. So hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. And it's an ongoing combat, so when we roll a wound, it's only on threes, not two. All right. And check five, so we wound you on threes. It's an ongoing combat. So we need threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That exactly wipes my squad of looters from the board. I have nothing left. Congratulations, Mike. You is victorious. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Uh, very well played by Mike. Great list, uh, very nicely executed. Um, I think uh, two key mistakes I made throughout that game. I should not have got my uh, warped killed with uh, my weird boy with the jump and the second manifestation. Um, if I had kept him uh, further back, been a bit more conservative, then uh, I would have been in a position to, to jump my looters out of peril across the board and then to go for more Daka showing off and have a blazing round of shooting that might have put pay to that second sanguinary guard squad. Um, I also forgot my six up invulnerable on my commandos. Uh, given both of those units just died exactly uh, to the model, I could have saved the boss knob or a rocket unit maybe. Um, and being in a better position to finish off those characters at the far side of the board. 
felt things were going quite well up until uh, turn three when I completely failed to kill all three of my targets. I really did think like I was going to uh, finish off the captain on a single wound. I really did think I was going to kill the, uh, I think, a second captain over here with a round of sh looter shooting. Um, and I thought I was maybe 50-50 to kill the uh, two sanguinary guard left over here, one left only on a single wound. Uh, another mistake I did make there was firing the shock attack gun before I fired the looters because um, I used my reroll on the shock attack gun or I could have just fired a person and not use that reroll. But then rolling a one for the looter shooting was a huge problem because uh, when I didn't roll particularly well against his uh, second captain over here, I just didn't have the wherewithal to finish it off, just not having enough shots. So um, those are things I'm going to improve on next time particularly positioning of the weird boys, make sure I sequence my shots better, and do not forget your Def Skull's invulnerable. Just because they have two other abilities that are very good does not mean you should forget the third one, which is also very good. That said, adds off to Mike. Lovely job, congratulations. Well played, sir. First turn had me a little bit worried uh, with the teleport of all these orc boys into my backfield. That was 30 orc boys. Uh, I thought it was going to be very uh, devastating, which it was, but it wasn't as devastating as I was anticipating. I was like, I expected the worst, got bad, but I came out on top and ended up killing enough what I needed to, but I had to use a lot of CP, but uh, it was what I accomplished because I had to kill them all, because if I didn't, he was going to use, uh, I don't remember what the orc. Green tide. Unstoppable green tide, where if I don't kill them all, he brings them back at full strength, and we could not have that. So I had to put all the kit and caboodle in there, and it, it took him out. I took Sanguinary Guard, Captain, Scorpius, Intercessor Squad, and attacking twice, but we were able to do it, luckily, to the, to the man. After that, it was plain the terrain, because he had too many Ludas to deal with at range, so we had to close the gap and cower like Imperial Guards behind terrain, which we did, but it's all right. Corn will smile upon us. I mean, the Imperials, Imperium will smile upon us, but it got us through there. We, we shot up enough Grots, which we were worried about because the Grot Special Rule Bodyguard uh, wasn't very good to shoot the Ludas at first, which we had to shoot the gr Grots, and we took them out, and we had to take the Weird Boys out because uh, so many bodies were his smites, and it that was my pros, taking up the, the weird boys ended up winning us to save us from mortal wounds. And once we killed the weird boys out in that big 30 boy squad, it was uh, a little bit better, but it was still very tough. Had to play the train and we came out on top, luckily. Ah, oh, congratulations, Mike. A hard fought game. Very well done, sir. You are our season two champion. We are going to be uh, putting together a couple of uh, one-off, maybe slightly more experimental videos or different armies over the next couple of weeks. And then we're going to be moving towards putting together our third season of uh, semi-competitive 50 power level games. If you want to see something different or you've got feedback on season two, maybe an idea for what you'd like to see in season three, it's not quite the same. Um, you can comment down below, but best of all, join us in our Facebook chat group, Game Talk for Gamers. I'm in there, Adam, Eve, the whole team. Come chat with us, come let us know what you want to see, and we will look at putting it together for you. Thank you for joining us for season two of Kingslayer here on Knights at the Game Table.